Today's video is gonna be a quick one, but we're gonna talk about how to remove echo from your audio. Pretty much now for all my editing, I use DaVinci. I used to use Adobe Premiere, but two things stopped me from using it. Number one was the fact that it was a monthly cost, which I wasn't happy with. And number two, every time I moved out of my comfort zone to learn a new part of editing, I had to look at about 50 videos to find what I needed because Adobe Premiere is fantastic, but it's also very complicated. But for me, I found DaVinci Resolve was much easier to learn and quite amazing, and it does all the features that I needed to do. And the one bonus a lot of people don't talk about with the DaVinci Resolve is if when you buy the studio version, which is the paid version, you pay for it once and you get lifetime updates. You never have to pay for it again. And what I did when I bought my version of DaVinci, I bought mine together with an editing deck, which you can see here. This thing is next level when it comes to editing. It speeds up your workflow so much. But if you want me to do another video all about this deck, I'm happy to. But the link's in the description below if you want to check it out. I've done a couple of tests where I'm about four feet from the camera and about 10 feet from the camera using the camera mic. So no actual lapel mic like this one. And we'll see how good DaVinci AI really is. All right, once you've opened up DaVinci Resolve, all you have to do is go to File at the top here and go New Project. And then you load your files in. You click on the Edit tab down the bottom here, which is where we are now. Now I've already cut these two clips. This is the first one with Echo, I'll just play it for you. All right, this is a test video for the DaVinci testing of the Echo. Um, I'm standing about four feet from the camera. Okay, so you've heard that. So let's go up to the Inspector tab up the top right here and go to, if you're on video, you go to Audio and you click down here and you can see Voice Isolation. So we click that tab and now we'll listen. You can toggle that on and off, so I'm going to play it off first and I'll turn it on halfway through the video. Alright, this is a test video for the DaVinci testing of the Echo. Um, I'm standing about four feet from the camera. As you can see, it's pretty damn good. Okay, the next one I'm further away, let's have a listen to that. Now I'm standing about 10 feet from the camera, which should create a hell of a lot more echo. We'll see how the DaVinci uh, AI fixes that. Alright, so scroll back down again. I hit the voice isolation thing about halfway through, so let's have a listen. Now I'm standing about 10 feet from the camera, which should create a hell of a lot more echo. We'll see how the DaVinci uh, AI fixes that. Now I'm just going to play the whole thing with it on. Standing about 10 feet from the camera, which should create a hell of a lot more echo. We'll see how the DaVinci uh, AI fixes that. But up here on the voice isolation tab, you actually have an amount, you can actually toggle it on and off. So if, you're a bit, if you think it's a bit much, or it's isolated the voice too much, sometimes you want a little bit of background noise for something, then you can bring it back and, and make it a little bit less prominent. So if we toggle it down to 50%, we'll have a listen to it now. This is a test video for the DaVinci testing of the Echo. I'm um, standing about four feet from the camera. You've still got a little bit of Echo there, but it's not bad. Let's see what it does for the other one. Now keep in mind this is audio that hasn't been fixed in any way shape or form yet so I didn't actually clean up the audio before I even tried to remove the echo. This is just from the actual cameras. This is the mic on the camera. Now for this you're going to need DaVinci Resolve 18.1. I think you're going to need the studio version which is the paid version. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes with the free one or not. And if you need more tutorials on DaVinci Resolve, I'm happy to help. But also there is a great course on Skillshare. The link's in the description as well. And if you want to sign up to Skillshare, it's currently 50% off. Link in the description below with the coupon code as well. In the meantime, check out this video here and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.